This is Connie with Gail Beatty and the Bigfoot researchers of the Hudson Valley. We're out here close to Stissing Mountain and we're looking for signs, we're looking for tracks. We've already found one track right at the entrance. We're with John, Brian, Gail, and Connie today. It's a beautiful area. I just heard movement out to my right. I'm not going to talk too much, but we definitely have movement off to the right. Sounded like something was very heavy footfall. We've already seen a deer that was spooked. And now we heard some heavy footfall. It's definitely a hot area. This is a beautiful preserve area, so we don't want to be loud and spook away any of the creatures and critters here. Gail has gone up into the wooded area. We're looking for stick, stick structures, broken limbs, anything that we feel like may be Sasquatch related. This is pretty much a hot spot for what we're looking for. But as in everything, it takes time and effort. Just kind of panning in closer. There's just all kind of weird looking blob squatches, of course. But then again, you never know. We'll pan back out. I'm going to follow the crew into the bush. <laughs> See if we can find any stick structures. Beautiful area, not too wet today. We have had rain, but nothing major. A 
little hilly in here. This is what the Hudson Valley of New York looks like. It's a beautiful area. We're being drawn to this area. Road, yes. Not really be on it. Because you they see travel. A cargo before? Yes. Well, you, a pot, you just well, within the field. Mm -hmm. That's not a road right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Looks like a little game trail back in here. <laughs> kind of worth following. It looks like it might produce some prints if we can get into a clearing. Yeah. All right. Lots of beautiful area here. Lots of deer. A lot of food here for squatches. I'm going to go back out on the main trail. We're hearing very interesting sounds from different waterfowl. Yeah. That's why I have my walking stick to catch me. <laughs> All right, going back out on the re regular trail now. Gail has her iPad. You never know when you take still pictures or videos what you'll find in them when you get them downloaded. Beautiful flowers are out. It's about 80 degrees here in central New York. Just a beautiful day. The nice thing about this trail is that it's kind of still wet. So if we can find footprints, this would be an ideal location to find them. We can tell this has been used by deer and different other animals. Always try and look up too in the trees because the Sasquatch do climb. Let's see what Johnny has found over here. Yeah, Gail's going to take a picture of it. Wow, that's a good sized print. Pull it away from Wow. When she's done taking her photo, we'll go ahead and zoom on in and see if we can't get a good zoom picture on that. 
big claws and it's yeah. not a dog. Yeah. I didn't think it looked like a dog. Let's go ahead and zoom on We've in. We've seen a lot of dog prints. That does not look like a dog print. No. And there's only three. That looks like a. Well, well it's pretty big. Well, yeah, now it's I have to very find big. Now, how did you do that? Just Kathy? tap it once where you want it to oh, focus. I didn't know this. See how much better it is now. I never knew that. <laughs> okay. That is weird. Here we are. I right, just, Brian? <gasps> look at the There's size of that. One. A little part of one. Of, look at the claws on it. That's definitely. What do you think? Why don't we try uh, casting I would, I would that a little bit? You want to? That's boy, pretty big. Boy wolf. boy wolf. I'm telling you, there's yeah. critters in here. Wow, that thing well, is pretty try big. To cast that a little That'll bit. That'll take like 20, 30 minutes though, right? Yeah. So maybe you want to just. We can mark it. You want to mark let's it mark and then decide? It. Yeah. On depending on what we yeah, find. Yeah, we're going to mark this down. print yeah. and we're going to walk up a ways and then come back and cast it. That is a huge oh, canine yeah, print. Oh, I'm getting a little dirty. I don't care. I don't wow. Get... That's weird, Connie. You might want to take one picture with the, with the ruler. Yeah, with the oh, ruler. Yeah, let's get the ruler out. That tape. looks, that, I don't know what it is. It's not a bear. Holy cow. It's... Yeah, I can see it good now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So from... Yeah, put them on that side. This side. Maybe about five inch. About five inches. Five inches, wow. Yeah. Can you take a still? Let me get a still. Wow, that is one of the biggest canine like, prints I have ever seen. Yeah, there's not, dogs are not allowed in this um, area. Wow, that so thing is huge. They tell you right on the board, I believe they tell you. i, I got to get out of the shadow. Yeah. Wow, what a find. That's incredible. Then they say to take it on angle. That thing is... Yeah, mm. that's definitely nothing, that's nothing I've seen before. It might be that wolf, and what is it called? Mm -hmm. Koi wolf. Uh, koi wolf, but koi um, wolf. with Scott Carpenter, uh, what is that? How wide is the, it? it? The dog it's man. It's five. Oh, how wide is Let's it? Let's right? see. Okay. It's five, about five inches long. How mm -hmm. wide do you think it is? Like from there, three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half wide yeah. and five long. Yeah. Wow. See, it's hard to tell where the last. I think we could definitely cast this little track. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't take much. Okay. <sighs> Boy, the pad alone on that thing. Right. Um, it tells you it's a yeah, it's a big animal. There's yeah. Gotta be more if it's a dog or a wolf dog. Yeah. Wow, that might be what we heard moving yeah. off to the right a little while ago. Oh That's what I'm thinking, but boy, <laughs> mm. it's definitely something big. Mm. I mean, even the prints I've seen, um, From other researchers, that almost looks like a dog man print, but there's water right here. There's a stream. Wow. This is definitely perfect area for, wow. No, well, there's plenty of food, water, and shelter, and we're close to Stissing Mountain. Just heard something behind me. So I'm just panning around. You never know what you'll catch. All right. Okay, we're going to continue on. I'll keep filming. Because this is a known hot spot and there have been reports, sightings in this area. 
of a dark black or black Sasquatch. I keep hearing something behind me, almost like it's paralleling off to our left rear. Anything down there, guys? There's mud that there. There's another track. Another track. Canine? Yeah. Another canine track. Well, we're definitely taking pictures, iPad pictures, uh, phone pictures, videos. So. Wow. I even just saw a bunny rabbit. <laughs> it's gone now, but it was right down the trail there. So there's food here. Lots of food. There's a beaver dam. Let's see if we can walk over here and find the beaver dam. If we can't locate the beaver den over here, can't seem to get down there though because there's so much growth. But that is perfect habitat for wolves, which we have here in New York, and obviously Sasquatch. We're looking for branches that are shaped oddly. We're looking for scat. It's a beautiful day. Yep. Wish we could get over there, but there's prints over there. <laughs> Let me see if I can home in a little closer on that patch of like a little beach. Oh, the sun just went behind a cloud, but sometimes you can find footprints on those muddy banks. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. We've definitely got prime location, power lines as well, as we know that the Sasquatch follow them. There's just a whole lot here, we just have to home in. When we first came in the entrance, we definitely saw about a 15 inch bare footprint. We marked it so on the way out, we're probably going to cast it as well as that print we just found of the wolf, we think, or some canine, much bigger than a coyote. There are no dogs allowed in this preserve. And it didn't look like a dog print anyway, because they didn't have the pads, they had the claws. A little bit buggy today, but nothing we can't handle.
in a way, this is perfect type of um, moisture in the ground because it's not soggy and muddy, but yet enough for a print to be left in very easily. There's lots of things that <laughs> look very suspect, but then when you home in on them, they're either gone, not there anymore, or there's something else. But we want to know. That's why we're here. You can't find them if you're not out looking, so... Find anything, a print or anything? Found something that looks like it could be a track. All right. Take a still shot of it. All right. I'll get it on video. And I'm get the tape measure. Yeah. Then why would this just be here? Look at it. There's no reason. It See, looks there's no. Whatever made it was heavy. It doesn't look like it dug the there's dirt. There's no other reason why there should be a huge just indention there. In the shape of a footprint. Heading that way. Does it look like anything went through there, buying through that? And it kind of looks like there's some matted down. That looks open. I don't know about this behind you, though. That's what I was thinking of something coming out of there. Yeah, that looks interesting. It could have come out you of the little river there. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I'm going to tap this. We're going to go ahead and measure yeah. this. Let's measure it. Gail's I mean, going to take a picture right here. of it. Doesn't that look like toes? A little bit? Yeah, it actually does. And there's the heel. That's about 13, 13 inches. 13? Sure mm -hmm. enough. Might make sense then. Might be that same, same one that from last year. It's a family. Because we found not only 13, but um, the 19-inch. You found the 19-inch in here, Last too? Last year, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this one we could potentially cast because it's deep enough. I definitely, I don't know if it'll, let me ask John what he thinks, but I would say we could cast this. I don't see code definition a little bit right here. 